Hey, welcome to the Chicken Channel. Do you know the most flavoursome part of the chicken are the legs and thighs? And they call for the recipes with the most flavour themselves. So what, why not do chicken tandoori? Nice hot grill, great spicy flavours. So the legs and thighs kept together with the skin off, that's a Maryland, and we're gonna slash those legs and thighs so the flavors go through. Now we're using two marinades. Marinade number one is pretty simple. Squeeze half a lemon into a large non-reactive bowl, remove any seeds, and then add to that a teaspoon of grated ginger. Add to that a teaspoon of grated garlic, and just for a little bit of a pinch of heat, cayenne pepper and also some white pepper. Half a teaspoon is pretty good. Mix that really, really well. And just remember to slash three times into the chicken legs and thighs. Add that to the marinade and really tumble it through, pushing it into the slashes. And what we have is a really good penetration of flavors. Give that two hours. That's the first marinade. The second marinade is a combination of two things only. What we have is about a cup of natural yogurt and roughly the same amount of a prepared tandoori paste. Whisk that together and now just simply tip that into the legs and thighs. Splash them on the face. There we go, straight in. Time to glove up. Now that stuff stains. You know the bit I splashed on my face? there for a year. That's, uh, well, there's about seven or eight different spices in that tandoori paste. And the red ones are very red. Some of them have turmeric in there and turmeric does stain. So that's why I'm gloving up. Again, just like the first marinade, rub it in. Get it right into those slashes. And really use your thumb, use your finger. Get it there completely, 100%. Once that's done, remember the yogurt is a great tenderizer. It really does. The soft acids are perfect for tenderizing stronger cuts of meat. So that's why the Indians tend to use that one. Here's one that we did a bit earlier. Now this can be in the fridge for another two hours. Now it can go overnight, it's not a real problem, but two hours is actually ideal. With most marinades, it's very important you take the marinade off, okay? So with your gloved hands, scrape it off and place it onto a tray that's been lightly oiled. Here we go, all four pieces. Lightly oiled so it doesn't stick. Traditionally, the Indians have a tandoor or tandoori oven. So that is a large clay pot type vessel, huge. Seats about two people. And you get that super hot and put the tandoori chicken into that. However, I don't have one of those, but what I do have is a wood-fired oven and a big mess. Sorry, Josh. Um, at home, make sure you can, your tray can take 230, 240, whatever your oven will do, crank it right up. But with the wood-fired oven, we can even go higher again. It's been lit, it's hot, and it's ready for our chicken. 35, 40 minutes, hassling it, turning it, mixing it around, turning upside down. It should be nice and charred, 35, 40 minutes. While the tandoori chicken is cooking, I thought I'd make a quick writer. Now, writer is just a cooling, yogurty style accompaniment. Now, the chicken's not hot, the tandoori's not a hot dish at all, but a lot of accompaniments are in Indian cooking, so it's nice to have something to put out the fire. Okay. What I've got is a cup of yogurt, but previously, in about a tablespoon of oil, just a vegetable oil, when I brought it to temperature, I threw in a little bit of asafoetida. That's a very pungent little gum. You don't have to use that in particular, but if you get your hands on it, this becomes a bit more authentic. Straight away, on top of the asafoetida, a pinch of cumin powder, and then a pinch of coriander powder. Now, sugar that through a little bit and switch the heat straight off, and then leave those flavours to infuse and then to cool down. And that's what I'm adding here to my yoghurt. Now it's a natural plain yoghurt. So the yoghurt, the Greek yoghurt is firmer and will hold its shape better. Stir that through. 
and add to that about two tablespoons of chopped coriander. And we're going to add some cucumber to that as well. This is how I cut up cucumber. This one has been peeled already and always cut the cucumber off to where the seeds start because there's the bitter side, okay? Either side of the cucumber to where the seeds start, discard that bitter part. Now the watery stuff in the middle of the cucumber, all right, the seeds, incidentally you can tell the age of the cucumber by how big the seeds are, this is still quite young. Now the watery stuff can make your writer quite watery. So I just, with a sharp knife, just shave that off. Shave that off. Get the drift. One to go. Line them up and then slice them quite thin. Cucumber is incredibly cooling, just what you need. Um, a little bit earlier on, the crew and I, we passed around some sauce, some hot sauce. Forget its name, but it was pretty hot. And um, we had this discussion about what it takes to put out the fire in the mouth. So if you're eating hot curries, plenty of heat, the secret is milk, right? Not water, milk. Having said that, cucumber works extremely well too. In with the cucumber, I've got about two cut exactly like that. Stir that through. And there we have it. Time to get our chicken. Looks fantastic. Been checking that as we go. Look, I'll serve it straight up. Been checking that as we go. And that's what you want. You want that charring. That's really important. That's why the pizza oven's fantastic. Tandoori oven's great. But your oven cranked right up because you want that charring. Let's plate this up. All right. There you go. It's always polite to cross your legs. There we go. That there. And there. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Little bowl of writer on the side, you know, some plain basmati rice, nice little hot condiment, some papadams. That is one of the popular dishes in India using Leonica chicken.